Fletcher Heads, Ailish here, and I've got a fresh electric bike review for you. Oh yes, if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe because we release electric bike reviews, news, EV content every single week. So hit that subscribe button. So let me introduce you to the Istali E20. This is a perfect entry level electric folder. They are uh, an incredible brand. It's Dali. We've been talking to them for a while now. They all just seem like a really great bunch and they have a mission to make electric bikes accessible for people with a lower budget in mind. I'm going to do a test ride today and I'm going to fill you in on all the spec and all the information you need to know to see if this is a bike that you need in your life. Let's take a closer look at the Dali E20. So first up, very noticeable colour, right? It's all blue. So this can come in a variety of colours. You've got blue, orange, grey, and my favourite of all, which I wish I had, the metallic pink. Check it out, it looks wicked. This is a 250 rear hub motor. It delivers max 40 newton metres of torque. Of course, it is foldable as well. You get seven gears on this bike, so you can tackle all different kinds of terrain with it. The battery itself, I don't know if you found it yet, it's a little bit uh, disguised. This. Yeah, me! This is the battery. The seat post itself has been really, really cleverly designed to really hide the fact that this is an electric bike. And at first glance, you wouldn't realize that this is electric, would you? This is actually removable. You can take this out so you can charge it separately, which is great. You can see by uh, the actual style of tire as well, it is hybrid, which just means that it's fantastic for on-road and urban trails as well. This bike as well is suitable for a wide range of people of different sizes. So you have this one for five foot to six foot five, which is Great. One thing to note is max rider weight is 110 kilograms. So not bad for a folder. You've got a waterproof LCD display as well. It's got five levels of assist. You also get an integrated front light and on the rear, they've actually attached a light for you, but that's run via uh, separate batteries in there. You just click that on to turn it on and off. So you are sorted should you need to do any night riding. Finally, I didn't tell you the range on this bike. 31 miles is what Isali claims. Did I talk about weight as well? I don't think I did. So this weighs in at 17.5 kilograms. So it's not lightweight, but it's definitely not heavy either. It's a nice kind of mid-level weight, but look, I can pick that up pretty easily and I'm not, I'm not strong. Don't be so hard on yourself. Finally, I didn't mention the fact that this bike is a pro version and the only difference between the OG and the pro is the fact that this has a rear rack and also mud guards as well. I don't think the mud guards look too bad, do you? Usually the mud guards can make a bike look a bit... Not for me. But I think it blends in really nicely because everything else is black, the rear rack is back, tires, tires are black. I think it all just pops. Starting price for the E20 is £1,145 or pay an extra 50 quid and you get the rear rack and mud guards, which is, of course, as I mentioned, the pro. So next up, let's fold this thing. Big seller here, folding bike, let me do it. So um, I haven't actually folded this yet. Let's just see what happens. I'm firstly just gonna spin it around so I can give it a good old kick to fold it in half. So I'm gonna just bring the stem down, easy peasy. There's a nice little latch there to do. Good, okay, doing well. Doing great, doing great. Right, let's try this. Oh, I'm liking how there's some nice little latches here so it stops the bike from unfolding. I don't know if you can see that. We'll do a close up, but there's some really good little latches just to stop the, uh, the bike from coming loose. And there you go, there you have it. Very simple, just a couple of little things you need to do and it's folded. Let's take a look at the folding measurements. How big is it folded up? Bring it up on screen. One thing to know is the magnet that holds the two wheels together when you fold it up, it's not the strongest. So I would just recommend if you need to wheel it anywhere, fold it down, that you just wheel it via this back wheel here. You don't put the other wheel on the ground. And you'll be grand. Bye. big fan of the rider position for this bike. You've got a lovely straight back with this and you're not putting any weight into your hands, which means that you can take your hands off and indicate very easily and talk with big hand gestures like I'm doing. Impressive. Your parents must be very proud. It's very maneuverable as well. I feel like you can just really lean into this bike and it really responds beautifully. The fact that the stem is right over the wheel, which ultimately creates a weight distribution that allows you to sort of 
flick it around. It's great. Really quick with the turning and the corners. Feel really comfortable. The tyres themselves are soaking up a lot of the lumps and the bumps. I'm really impressed. When I looked at the frame, I thought, Mm, I don't know, is this going to be a little bit too uh, a bit too stiff? But no, it's it's fantastic. The grip on these tyres really make me feel confident when it's a slightly slippier, wetter weather like it has been today. It's been on and off raining and I felt really confident at the fact knowing that I'm not going to slip or slide at all with these tyres. The wheels themselves, they're not that classic 16 inch size wheel that you do get on folders. Because they're 20, it just gives you a little bit more stability. It stops it twitching around as much as a smaller wheel, which is good news for me because uh, I'm not a massive fan of the 16 inch wheel personally just because it does feel a little bit too twitchy here and there but the 20 inch is the perfect sizing oh god that's going to be used in a really awful way <laughs> that's what she said but a 20 inch wheel is a f <laughs> but a, ten a 20 inch wheel is a little bit more <laughs> but the sizing of this wheel is exactly the kind of size <laughs> cut cut <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say Let's talk about gears. You have seven, which means that you can tackle hills, you can have a bit more contact with the motor itself when you're going downhill. When you have a single speed, sometimes it can feel like your pedals are just running away with you. Not with gears. Add that in with the five levels of assist and that really opens up the kind of terrain that you can tackle. Now, obviously, I'm in London, there aren't that many hills. It's mainly flat terrain, but it does give you that flexibility should you be going out of town. The fact that these are foldable, you can chuck them in the back of your car, you can go abroad with them, you can take these for like a little sort of getaway cycling session, whatever you need. The flexibility and the possibilities really do open up with these kinds of bikes. Speaking of tyres, I've been riding this bike for a while and I have noticed just how responsive the brakes are. Are you ready for this, Carl? I'm gonna brake. Ready? <laughs> they are decent! And that's exactly what you need when you're out and about in town and uh, you've got people coming left, right and centre at you. The fact that these are disc brakes, who needs hydraulic? And it keeps the bike at a lower price point, which is exactly what we all need. It's got the power, it's got the gears. What more do you need? You may have guessed by now. We are big fans of Astali, so much so we decided to put them on our very own online store. Have you heard of it? It's the electrohairs.com online store. Make that a jingle. No. Yeah, so we have launched an online store where we have handpicked and curated a bunch of electric rides, bikes, scooters, skateboards that we absolutely love. We've tested them all, we've reviewed them all, and we've given them our seal of approval. And we have put the E20 and also its other sibling, the E28, on the marketplace, which is a lovely classic styled bike. So if you are in the market for a folder or in a Starly in general, then head on over to the store. Details in the description. Back to the review. As electric bikes are becoming more and more popular over the years, we are starting to see a lot more brands who are releasing similar shaped and sized bikes. And that does then mean that you are starting to think, well, oh man, what do I choose? What do I go for? There's so many different bikes on the market now. The reason why we love the E20 is the fact that it offers a lot for its for its price range, yes, it is over a thousand pounds. And yeah, you probably could get one that is less money and straight from China. But the thing is you are paying a little bit more to buy into the brand, to buy into that aftercare. You get warranty on this and it's also local in the UK. So there are places locally instead of abroad that are gonna be able to fix this bike for you. And that just gives you peace of mind. And there's this saying, buy cheap, buy twice. Starly build their bikes right here in the UK with warranty lasting for two years, which covers parts and labor if it's returned to one of Starly's depots. Another great thing about the E20 as well, like I mentioned, you can get the, uh, the standard E20 or you can go for the Pro, which has the mud guards and the rear rack. Now it is a little bit extra money, but I just think it's a no brainer getting mud guards, especially if you're in the UK. Rain comes here, there and everywhere at any time. So it's always good to be equipped for different weather. And also the rack at the back, it gives you way more versatility. You can check your bag on the rear rack and it just means that you can carry a bit more. I don't know about you, but I'm usually full in terms of having a backpack on my back and having that little bit of extra cargo space is ideal. And all of that, on just a tiny little folder. This really does offer a little bit of everything. All right, so these tires say that they can uh, deal with some off-roading. Let's see how they do. To be fair, I mean, 
mean, there's a lot of lumps and bumps and twigs and rocks and things going on. This is soaking it up beautifully. The fact that there isn't any suspension in this. I'm really impressed. Honestly, the more I ride this thing, the more I'm shook. Shooker. Yeah, that's a real world. Well, that's a real word. <laughs> Looking up in the dictionary, do you know what? I'm so taken aback, I can't speak properly. What in the goddamn hell are you talking about? This is awesome. Guys, get any 20. Final thoughts? Well, the E20 is a fantastic option if you're looking for an entry-level electric folder. eStarly are here to give access and the joy of electric to everybody and anybody who has that lower budget in buying a bike. And with this being just over a thousand pounds, it really is a brilliant option. It really encompasses a lot of what you need from an electric folder at that lower price range. The key thing here is this is just over £1,000, which yes, it is a lot of money. However, you are gonna be finding ways to integrate this into your life daily because it's so much fun to ride and it's just so usable. You really can take this anywhere and everywhere. So think about it. If you're looking to get something like this and just over a grand does feel like a lot of money, go try one out, test ride it, see how it feels. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more reviews from me. And don't forget to subscribe as well because we've got way more content coming out every single week. See you soon.